Hey guys, Dale the Artist here. Let's melt some stuff in Blender. Now, typically we all like to delete the default cube, but I figured I'd do some justice in this video and actually use it. First thing I want to do is first select my default cube, hit tab to enter edit mode, right click and subdivide this to about 10. Press tab to exit edit mode and go back to object mode and I want to add a couple subdivisions to this so let's go to add modifier and let's go to subdivision surface let's bring it up to about two now we can hit apply I want to select the model right click and go to shade smooth so we don't see those uh, fasting lines and as well let's add a material to this so let's go to material properties and let's change the color to something close to yellow or orange so we can mimic butter and now let's shift A to go to mesh and bring in a plane so we have something to uh, have a contact with this uh, default cube. So let's press G and Z to bring it down to it sits right underneath the cube. And we can actually bring this down even lower. So first thing I'm going to do is select our uh, default cube. And I want to go to object data properties where it says shape keys, I want to hit the plus sign. Now this is our default um, position, which is our basis. I want to hit it again, and let's name this to, uh, we'll name it just to one, so we know that this will be our first melting. In order to see this in effect, we have to change the value from zero to one. Now let's go from object mode to scope mode. And I'm going to use um, G, which is the hot key for grab, and I'm going to start to melt this in our first position. So what I want to do is pick a side. It doesn't really matter. Um, whatever corner you feel more comfortable with, you're just going to choose this and kind of start to bring it down. And I think this is good for our first pose. So what I'll do is just slide the slider from 1 to 0 so you guys can see what just happened. So we've melted it from this corner. Now we're gonna hit the plus sign, double click where it says key two and just change this to two or whatever name you want to let you know that this is our second pose. And we can just drag this value to one and just repeat the process and make it melt a little bit more. And you can change the strength as well this by going to the top and sliding the strength slider up. Press F is the hot key for um, changing the brush size or you can just go to radius next to strength and do so. Hold down shift and draw to smooth out harsh edges. You can switch the brushes. I like to switch the cloth brush and kind of bring it around so we get some type of um, you know false texture there. Switch back to the grab brush and you can switch to the um, elastic brush as well which is the deform brush kind of start to bring this down a bit further. Make the brush smaller and I'm going to kind of go towards the contact where the default cube or butter um, meets the surface of the plane and start to round this off a bit so it's not so built up. And now we can see what we did by dragging the slider even more. Now we can hit the plus sign, change this to three or whatever makes it easier for you to remember what we're doing. I'm going to switch back to the grab brush so we can bring this down a lot lower as well as holding down shift so we can smooth this baby out. And don't forget where the contact of the cube meets the surface of the plane, you want to use that elastic brush to pull this out because, you know, it's expanding as it melts. So just keep that in mind as you move forward. Now we can change the value so you guys can see what we just did. It's looking nice. And I think we can add a fourth one. So let's hit that plus sign, hit the four, change that value up. Now at this stage, we can alternate between the various brushes to get a more realistic look. And we want this to be more of a liquidy, but still have some type of mass to it. So keep some of the heavy chunks. 
and let's pull this out but also use that cloth brush so we can get some of that wrinkle detail so we can dial this up and down to see how it looks now we want to animate this so what I want to do is go to number one here uh, turn on auto king here at the bottom we're on frame one and if you're not there just hit this button here to jump to the beginning so once we're in frame one here let's also make sure that uh, all of our values are set back to zero so we're in our default position now I want to hover over um, number one here and where it says value I want to press I to create our first keyframe and let's go down to frame 15 and let's drag this to one so we get our first movement for our first melt and where it says let's go to about frame 10 select our number two here in the value section press I on zero and let's bring this up to about 25 we can drag this up select number three we can go back to about frame 20 hit I And we can bring this to about 30, 32. Change this to one. We can go back a bit to about 28. Select number four, press I. And we can bring this over to about 40. And drag this up. So now if we, you know, drag the slider, you can see what we just did. We just molded our object. And if you play it, it's going to be really quick, but you can see what we just did. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick and simple tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also check out that Patreon for more access to more perks.